from the market researcher's point of view, uh, there's a lot of tools out there. Obviously, you've created an, another one. <laughs> Just what the world needs. <laughs> um, what's your take on, the, on whether we are not seeing the insights for the data tree? I, I come from a sort of a, a world that's often very focused on sort of politics and behaviour change, where there's going to be an election at some point, and you're looking for the amount to which you can sort of move the dial, really. Mm. So a lot of what I do has gone beyond just sort of the measurement and into the kind of movement, how much kind of change mm. you can affect, and the kinds of techniques that you use to kind of underpin your judgments about what will what will get that movement. Um, and so I'm getting really interested in the kind of the, the data, which is a much more direct connection to the kinds of decisions that they're making, what some people call kind of implicit research techniques, uh, ones that are harder to fake. Um, I bought a 400, uh, 300 pound EEG machine the other day. You can buy these things now to help measure things like focus and attentiveness and uh, stimulation, but I'm increasingly interested in those kinds of direct connections to people's sentiments and so far as they can, I think, help us not just measure but also move. That's absolutely fascinating. It's is also it, creepy. It's, it's, it's quite creepy. To what extent is it about an exact specific, finding the right bit of data rather than all the data? I think that's absolutely crucial. It's often, you know, the temptation, if you're almost every client I write a survey for wants to double it in length because they think, well, we're here, we should just check out all these other things as well. And I think the danger there is that you just you kind of lose the strategic focus. Mm. You can often get away without, you know, you don't need a 25 minute questionnaire because you're not going to make decisions on that 25 minutes worth of data. Mm. You can actually, you need to know the four key things to say or to, mm. uh, to present and how you need to have some insight as to how they're going to kind of shift the, the sentiment that you're interested mm. in shifting.